While the world grapples with the coronavirus pandemic, the slowdown in human activity is having some unexpected but positive impact on our planet. To combat the rapidly spreading virus, countries have put a lockdown resulting in limited travel and industrial activity. Limiting travel has led to reductions in vehicle emissions and cutting the amount of industrial activity has led to a drop in the number of harmful particles put in the air. To begin with, in China, where the first cases of COVID-19 were detected, satellite images on NASA's website show how the decrease in industrial, business and transportation activity between January and February 2020 has reduced the levels of atmospheric nitrogen dioxide first in Wuhan and then across the country. According to Stanford University, Professor Marshall Brooks said, the reductions in air pollution in China caused by this economic disruption likely saved 20 times more lives in China than have currently been lost due to infection with the virus in that country. The World Health Organization has estimated that around 7 million people die every year from exposure to fine particles in polluted air. According to China's Ministry of Ecology and Environment, the average number of good quality air days increased 21.5% in February compared to the same period last year in Hubei province, the epicenter of the global coronavirus pandemic. Not just in China, satellite images from NASA and the European Space Agency have also shown dramatic reduction in the amount of harmful greenhouse gas emissions in the atmosphere world over. However, scientists warn that the improved air quality around the world isn't likely to remain long-term though as things will likely return to normal levels when industry resumes. Meanwhile, with parts of Italy on lockdown, pictures have emerged on social media of Venice's canals showing signs of improvement. Usually very murky waters, the canals have become much clearer to the extent that the fish living inside are now visible. Not only are the fish visible, white swans have also been floating across the cleaner waters. There are also reports that dolphins are now swimming in the canals too. While it is still early days, data collected in New York this week suggests that instructions to curb unnecessary travel are having a significant impact. Traffic levels in the city were estimated to be down 35% compared with a year ago. Emissions of carbon monoxide, mainly due to cars and trucks, have fallen by around 50% according to researchers at Columbia University. They have also found that there was a 5-10% to drop in CO2 over New York and a solid drop in methane as well. Now, does this mean the coronavirus pandemic is good? Professor Brook from Stanford University clearly says no. He adds, instead, it means that the way our economies operate, absent pandemics, has massive hidden health costs and it takes a pandemic to help see that. Clearly, these improvements in nature, albeit due to human restriction, are inevitably something to take note of. 